Hi friends, this is the Nair Research and welcome to the part number 14 of Cryptocurrency Statistical Arbitrage Tutorial. In this video we are going to finish implementation of Avabot and we'll add the last piece to the event loop, Trade Executor. In my previous trading bot tutorials I already showed you how to put limit orders and track the execution. We already implemented all infrastructure we need to make this work. But in this video I'll do something differently and in more simplified way. Instead of limit orders and constantly checking them, I will use market orders. Of course this will add some extra cost to our trading strategy, but if you want to have control over the price, use limit orders. So let's figure out how do we place orders. Unfortunately Bitfinex has no REST endpoint uh, for orders placement in API version 2. That is why we have to use V1 API. And since we have to place two orders simultaneously, one long and one short, we will use multiple orders endpoint. Let's look at input parameters. So for each order we have to provide symbol name, which is pretty obvious, amount, and price, but since we use uh, market orders, we can provide some random number. Site, either we buy or sell, and order type. For our case, that would be market. And here is example of the response. It provides orders IDs and some other orders information and status. We'll use the status in our code. So, in trade.py let's create function trade, def trade. And it will have self as parameter, then it will have by pair, so it's pair name for long position, sell pair, pair name for short position, then by amount, and sell amount. Okay, now let's create buy and sell orders. Let's begin with buy order, buy order, that would be an object, and first it will have symbol, symbol which equals to buy pair, by pair, then gonna be amount, that will be our amount but stringified, so string by amount, then we have to provide price, so that should be a random number because we use market orders, then we'll provide site equals to buy and also we have to provide order type which equals to market okay let's add commas and repeat this exercise for sell order we can just copy this object and paste it below but instead of by will type sell, sell, and sell here. Okay, now let's place those orders. So we'll return. How did we call BFX version I1 API? BFX v1. Okay, BFX v1 place multiple orders and here we need to provide a list of our orders buy order and sell order great now we can use this function in main.py we are in a main.py inside of the event loop and let's 
place orders for the case when we short spread. So type trade dot trade and we'll provide by pair name that would be pair two sell pair name pair one buy amount that we would be position size first element sell amount would be position size zero uh, second element and it would be equal to result okay then if result status equals to success which means our orders were executed without any errors so as we expected we can update trade object properties okay great so let's do the same for long spread option so we can copy this part of code and paste it here so when we long spread we buy pair one sell pair two and here we buy a position size it would be second element and here it would be first element of the position okay and if status equals to success we'll also update trade object properties great now let's close positions let's go here and it is the case where we open long position on pair 2 and short position on pair 1 okay here we can paste our code so if we open a long position on pair 2 we have to buy pair 1 so that would be trade short it's buying pair name when we sell we'll sell pair 2 because we have opened long position there trade pair 2 okay by amount that would be amount of the position where we of the pair where we opened short position that would be trade short amount and similarly with buy amount buy amount and if success we will restart properties okay let's copy this part and paste it here but here we'll instead of long we'll type short sorry here we'll type long here we'll type short long amount long amount and short amount here okay the last thing we need to do is to place orders for the case where we trigger stop loss that would be the easiest part of this implementation okay firstly let's remove this unnecessary research prop and just copy this code and place it here because actually it will do the same copy this code and place it here it doesn't matter actually whether we close position at profit or at loss we'll actually use the same function with the same parameters well the final thing we need to do is to remove this unnecessary close spread and long and short spread functions
Okay. Okay, now our code is clean and we can try to execute it. Let's run Python 3 main.py. And here we have an error in trade.py. Something wrong with symbol. Ha! Huh, I forgot instead of equal sign we have to use colon sign. Okay, let's fix that. Sorry for this stupid mistake. Okay, let's save again and run it again. Python 3 main.py and let's wait for any response. So since we have no errors, I assume that everything works smoothly. Or probably we'll have some errors in the runtime but we can debug them, as usual. Well, we have just finished implementation of our statistical arbitrage bot. I do not know whether this current version is profitable or not, but actually that was not a goal of my video tutorial. What I was going to show you is to how implement one of the most interesting training strategies in quite simple way. If you are really interested in statistical arbitrage, there is a lot of research papers and books on these topics. These books and papers may help you to improve most of components we have implemented. And if you are interested in buying trading board like moving average crossover or arbitrage board, feel free to contact me. My email is in the description to this video. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos and leave your questions in the comment section below. Bye!